Hey guys, just thought I'd uh, share this uh, collection I have here with you guys and um, I just want to give you guys an idea of what your collection could look like and I want to show you all my guns and my favorites and why I have them with a brief description and then um, maybe in the future I'll do a full review if you guys comment below. So first we have the Ruger LCP. Now the reason why I have these magazines here I just wanted to show you. Um, these are extended magazines I got at CheaperThanDirt.com and um, I really like the Pro Mag. It fits really well in the Ruger LCP and I added a couple of custom items if you think that hey this Ruger looks a lot different than mine well I added some custom items I also bought a secondary magazine I try to stick with especially for my actual conceal the actual brand magazines so I know they won't fail these are pretty much for the target because target range because they told me I needed to basically break it in and put 200 rounds in it before it was you know the the salesman was confident enough that the the gun would would follow would follow through and actually cycle so that's what I did I wasn't about to load this thing up er, you know for six rounds every single time I wanted to shoot it if I wanted to put 200 rounds through it so I bought these 15 round Pro Mags and they worked really well next off we have the Sig Mosquito and I really wanted to make sure that I got really good magazines for this gun so I actually spent a little extra money and got the actual Sig magazines because they're actually a thicker alloy or thicker metal um, I think they're steel but it's it's thicker metal so if it gets dropped I don't have to worry about any pitting that'll prevent the uh, ammunition from cycling up to the last one so that's what I have there this is actually my wife's personal carry it actually has a laser that I bought for it so she doesn't have to worry about putting it on target yeah it looks like it's off you know close range but you know at 15 feet it's pretty good and at 12 rounds is a perfect deterrent I mean I don't think it'll stop a person loaded up on drugs but it'll definitely be a good deterrent for any type of uh, crime she might come across I don't know <laughs> but this is what she carries on her daily and uh, I really enjoy shooting it. it's a really fun plinker to be honest um, but it has all the safety features that she would need considering that she's not super confident um, you have your safety you have your decocker here and this is your lock to slide lock um, and this is to di disassemble it so I'll probably do a, a deeper review even though there's a ton of them out there on this one just because I'm trying to start a channel for big boys uh, just to let you know so moving on here we have my Taurus PT 111 G2 which is the Millennium G2 I really like this gun it actually has been very good to me fires really well cycles really well um, and uh, it's just a really nice lightweight carry gun and for being a 12 rounder it's very comfortable to wear this is actually my first concealed carry which as you can see that's a much bigger grip compared to this one so it doesn't protrude out my shirt too much and um, I can actually wear it in the waistband with it being comfortable has a rounded back end which is great because I'm a husky guy so you know it doesn't carve into my uh, my love handles too much unlike this one it has that dovetail in the back and that definitely is not comfortable after half a day sitting down um, so I'm just gonna slide over here now with this fun guy I actually bought it as a target at first before I got my CCW um, or before I got my concealed carry license CCL um, so that's why I have these longer 15 round mags um, these are the two mags that came with it however these for concealment very noisy these not a damn thing so it works out a lot better see just by tapping it no rattling these things rattle like maracas these things don't really rattle but that protrudes out the gun about there so that's gonna be way too much you know protruding out my side if I wanted to wear it as a sidearm here we have the guard dog now I have four dogs so by all means this is not what you thinking it is <laughs> it's my guard dog when the dogs start barking 
it's the first thing I go to because most of the time the rest of my firearms even my concealed carry ones they're all locked up in my safe the less firearms out the less chance somebody's gonna you know accidentally discharge or you know, something like that I'm just I'm always worried about you know leaving something unattended and some other person walking up and grabbing it playing with it doesn't know what they're doing with it but anyway so this is what I have on the ready and because you think oh well that's kind of overkill with the flashlight and the laser scope and you know the extra handle and the side saddle well, you know what that's kind of a shf thing you know i just rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it for example if i want to get the drop on the assailant i can't really put him on target because i don't have a butt stock so i can't hold it up to my shoulder and really aim that's what the laser's there for um just in a stressful situation you're half as good as you are at the range you're most of the time trying to aim at a moving target <laughs> so this is uh, the best thing and uh, I use birdshot in the house or at least I have it loaded with birdshot in the house I've never actually shot it in the house which um, thank god I've never needed it but um but yeah so I could probably do an in-depth review on why I have it set up the way it's set up but let's face it if I rack that bad boy and point in your direction you're not going to care what's there you just know you don't want to get hit by it now this, this is my fun gun. This is pretty much just for fun, just to have it. It's a great protector, but at six rounds, you know, I just rather have more capacity for protection. This is mostly just plinking big boy style, so to speak. I mean, I upgraded the grips. It originally came with Western grips. I think this gun was produced back in the early 90s. So it's not a very new gun, but a revolver is a revolver, man a heavy hitter at 357 I shoot 38 special but uh, if I'm gonna be at the range all day but once in a while I'll grab a box of 357 just to see what it could do to a couple of pumpkins and uh, you know it's just fun it's a great gun to have um, you kind of respect the craftsmanship on a revolver it just it's a joy to have I mean the weight on it it's incredible um, and if uh, you want me to do a full review and I'll talk you through my setup I can do that also but yeah that's my baby boy it's the fun gun and last but not least my budget AR-15 I say budget because I bought this of a buddy of mine's uh, who kind of went the long route bought a uh, Omni AR-15 just stock and then little by little put bits and pieces together and built up a pretty nice looking setup over here over time he collected some old mags a military issue some new mags and this is the latest and greatest pro mag for 40 round so i got 30 30 30 30 30 40 so it's pretty much loaded up with uh what i would comfortably say decent features um i would really prefer to change out the lower but at this point I could pretty much do that anytime, so I might as well just play with it till something breaks. It's not really a home defense thing. I mean, that's, you know, even 223 could go through a couple of walls, depending on where it strikes. So I'm pretty much comfortable with just saying this is my outdoorsy gun. When I go out with my buddies shooting at the range or shooting somewhere outdoors, um, this is uh, fun to have, and you definitely want to go preload. You don't want to have to be loading up magazines while you're out there because you have bloody knuckles after a while unless you have one of those really nice loaders. But this is, uh, yeah, it's my big boy toy. It's the one I take out to the range. And uh, I'll probably break down the features on there and what I've added. But most gun people can pretty much identify everything I have on here. So I probably won't go in too depth. I might just point out what I like about it. But uh, yeah, so just comment below, and I hope you hopefully you like my video, and uh, I'll, hopefully soon I'll put out some more. Uh, so thanks for watching.